Traveling through the beauty that is Kings Canyon National Park can turn into a risky drive, especially in the winter. Every year during the rainy months of December through March, rocks and even boulders fall off of cliffs and slide down the hillsides that are part of the beauty of this popular destination. Some of those rocks and boulders come loose and find their way onto the roads. You may wonder what kind of damage these rocks can do to vehicles when they fall from the cliffs. Pretty much destroys them, even small rock. Uh, Caltrans has had uh, windshields and cab damage recently. Kern 178, they had a rock fall out and uh, lit on the hood of a four-yard truck and knocked the engine and transmission out of the truck. And that's why this combined crew of Caltrans District 6 maintenance workers are here on this stormy late winter day. We're removing this rock here. Uh, it slid down actually last winter. Some of the other rocks that we've removed up the hill from this uh, have caused pavement damage and this is all part of the spring opening for Highway 180. This crew is made up of men from other crews in Caltrans District 6 that are trained in rock scaling and drilling and some have specialized certificates in explosives. To qualify to take your test, you have to have three years of training with a licensed blaster. Are the boulders blown into oblivion with a fiery explosion like in the movies? I hope it doesn't. We don't, we don't like to do that. We like manageable pieces for the loader to move around. So what kind of explosives do they use for breaking up boulders? It's a Kinepak. It's a two component. It's binary. You can uh, one component in one compartment of your pickup, one component in another, and you're safe to go down the highway. You're not going to hurt anybody. On this rainy day, the crew needed to find a dry place to combine the two components into the final explosive compound. Their only option was the cab of the Caltrans Public Information Office video crew's van. You can feel the tension as everyone quiets down when the crew begin mixing the elements. You can even see the stress on their faces as this is a very dangerous part of their job. Once the compounds are mixed, the detonation cord is inserted and taped together to form the charges that will break up the boulder. There we go. It goes down the hole like that. The charges are very carefully inserted into the previously drilled holes at precise depths in order to break the boulder into manageable sized pieces. The smoldering chunks of rock is all that remains after detonation. The blasting crew has done its job and are done for the day. So what do they do with all the broken pieces of boulder? Put it in turnouts so people when they come in there uh, don't drive off into the river or drive off over the cliff. Their work improves the safety for all motorists on State Route 180 in one of America's most beautiful national parks. Reporting for Caltrans District 6, this is Kevin Cast.